So I read a discouraging comment on one of my YouTube videos earlier today where the person was implying that in order to really be successful with print on demand, you have to be one of those shops that has, you know, like an Etsy shop with a couple hundred thousand sales that seems to do everything right and be soaking up massive market share in all of the major niches. And I know where that sentiment comes from because we all see those shops and we want to be them, but it always feels like they've got, you know, a pricing advantage or something along those lines that we just don't have. Does that mean we can't be successful? Of course not. The reason I was inspired to do a video addressing this is because my story of print on demand success, which I shared transparently the whole first five years, I did monthly income reports where I show the big months and the slow months, right? It's not anything spectacular. I do that for motivation for you. I will link those in the description in case you guys didn't know I did that. I have videos and I have blog posts. Go check those out. But I didn't have any outlier success. I was never the Etsy shop with hundreds of thousands of sales. My Amazon merch. Yes, I'm in tier 200,000 now, but that's because I grinded away over time. I scaled up to that point. Like everything that I am it is a very realistic and like e hopefully easy to understand practical approach that got me there. It wasn't some crazy dream that I, that anybody that's on YouTube, you know, a talking head is trying to sell you. <laughs> it's very practical. So that's why I did it. In this video, I want to elaborate on my personal favorite mantra when it comes to achieving success without relying on outlier success. And that is simply to occupy more online real estate, make it easier for people people that want to buy what we're selling to find us, to give us their money. All right. That's what I'm going to share with you in this video. I did a video similar to this last week. I want to go deeper in today's video with the number of marketplaces and opportunities that we cover. So that's the plan. Let's get to it. So I'm going to put a list of all the links I cover in this video in the description to make your life easier. So the first website you guys probably could have guessed it is amazon.com. This is why you guys subscribe to my channel for these really sharp insights like me telling you to sell on the world's number one e-commerce marketplace. Yes, I'm being sarcastic, but make sure you sell on both Amazon seller central where you can sell FBA and FBM. So with print on demand, I'll do FBM fulfilled by merchant on demand, uh, print on demand products, right? You can use the Printful integration. You can use the t-shirt gang integration. I recently did a video series of tutorials with them. So check out their website for that. You can do that. And that, that way you get direct, um, API integration to create your listings, which is real easy to do. And you get the automated fulfillment and make sure you also check out Amazon merch on demand, which is an Amazon portal separate from seller central that allows you to sell prime eligible print on demand products on the world's number one e-commerce marketplace. And they've extend, extended it and expanded it to um, six other international markets. So it is an incredible opportunity. Also make sure you are selling on Etsy. I mentioned in that video last week that it gets over 400 million visits a month. And in the fourth quarter, it's going to get even more visits. So Etsy is a great opportunity in a closed circle in terms of just the people who go to Etsy.com and go shopping. It also gets uh, indexed by Google, which don't forget everything I show you gets indexed by Google. So it's also going to send traffic from there as well, which is why I really believe in this approach. eBay, don't sleep on eBay. eBay actually gets more web traffic than Etsy does. Albeit, you know, these marketplaces are unique. There's different things that work on different platforms. This is why I have a course that teaches how to sell on all of the primary marketplaces and some of the secondary ones. So all the primaries would include Amazon, Etsy, uh, eBay, you know, the next opportunity, Walmart, all the big ones. And then again, some of the smaller ones as well. Uh, but yes, sell on Walmart. They have opened the door to API integrations, which again, allows us to easily create product listings. And when they sell, we get the orders downloaded without us having to do any manual intervention for automated fulfillment, which means we can make money while we sleep. Like Warren Buffett said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. That was one of the big motivating factors for me to go on this passive income journey, even while I had, you know, a nice comfy senior web developer position and worked at a second job teaching web development. So I made a lot of money, you know, by even by today's standards, even though, you know, inflation's crazy. I quit my jobs years ago. So here we go. Walmart. And in order to sell on Walmart, guys, there is a seller portal. It is the Walmart seller center, just like Amazon has seller central. Okay. I'll drop links. Like I said, in the description, I'm just going to put a spreadsheet together that you can, all, you can all reference. Okay. Sell on target. Now I don't sell on target. I've gone through the application process. I never heard back. So, <laughs> but I'm hoping that somebody else will be able to one day sell print on demand on target.com and let me know how you did it. All right. This is why I love having a YouTube channel, because if you have any ins or any experience, hit me up. If you email me, I read all my emails. So, um, I would be 
be very much appreciative of that. You know, unfortunately, yeah, like I, I can't verify all of these opportunities, but I did do some research in putting this list together. And in theory, you should be able to list on all of these opportunities. Like I said, Walmart has an application. I filled it out. I just never heard back from them. So I don't know. Kind of like the first time I applied for Walmart. I never heard back. I, I, I don't think I did anything wrong. I just don't know that these companies have like everything in place or they have it all put together. You know what I mean? The next one, fair. I actually interviewed my now fiance, Marielle, about the opportunity to sell print on demand on fair. It is more of a B2B wholesale marketplace, which actually is an incredible opportunity. She brags to me all the time that she gets these orders coming through fair where she will make a hundred dollars or more, sometimes multiple hundred dollars of profit on one order. Yes, you heard that correctly. So I will drop a link in that spreadsheet. I'll link to my interview with Marielle. All right. And I don't know if you need an invite to sell here or not, but I know she has a special link that gets you the invite so that you get um, on fair. Uh, so I'll make sure to include that in the spreadsheet as well. But fair is a great opportunity and not a lot of people have heard of it. Also, she loves shopping on fair. Just saying you get really nice discounts from the B2B aspect. So don't overlook that aspect either. Jane guys, Jane, I also applied to sell on honestly did not hear back. So I'm hoping that someone else is able to sell on Jane. These aren't just random recommendations, by the way, like we can go to Jane and type in like Thanksgiving shirt and there's going to be a bunch of options. Jane is uh, reminds me a lot of like Etsy. Okay. But a smaller version of Etsy in terms of their web traffic, much smaller, but guess what? There was a time in the past where Etsy was the size that Jane is today. So I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what the future is going to bring, but I know that marketplaces like this, there's already a lot of sellers and a lot of buyers. Okay. On a relative basis, it may not be what Etsy is and it's definitely not what Amazon is, but who knows what the future will bring. These are just extra opportunities to make sales on these marketplaces, whether it's from the traffic that goes directly to this domain, or if it's just getting indexed by Google and then finding you that way, they're both good options because a sale is a sale and there isn't direct integrations with, um, automated fulfillment for all these opportunities. That being said, you can always set that up. Like there's always a way to do it, you know, backdoor there's things like order desk that can help with those integrations or even like routing orders through Shopify. And honestly, like Printful, Printify, they have APIs as well if you wanted to go that route. But if you're not making a super high volume of orders, you can just manually create these orders yourself. It's a great chance to use your Printful coupons, by the way. Anybody who's getting the coupons from making regular sales, that's a good chance to use them. And then you get even higher profit margins because they, you know, if you get the five or $10 off coupons, that just gets applied directly to your fulfillment costs. Next up, Bonanza. So there used to be a direct integration to Bonanza via Printful. They killed that integration a couple years back. Um, that being said, I used to use it. I had, you know, a couple hundred, if not thousand products listed on Bonanza, made occasional sales, not, you know, anything crazy, but I was also listing evergreens. Perhaps to be successful on Bonanza, you need to be in the bigger trends. You know what I mean? I don't pretend to be an expert on every single marketplace, but I can at least tell you truthfully that I listed a bunch of products and I did make sales with print on demand and Printful had automated fulfillment. They don't have the direct integration anymore, but does that mean you shouldn't sell on Bonanza? No, perhaps now that the Printful integration has gone, that opens the door to more opportunity theoretically, because I deleted my shop after that. I was like, I don't want to deal with this. Um, so just throwing it out there. How about Facebook marketplace? Yes. Don't overlook the opportunity to interact directly with customers and make sales that way. Now there are also scammers on places like Craigslist and Facebook marketplace. So you got to be smart about that, but definitely, um, something worth considering Google shopping as well. Now, Google shopping, I've never listed directly to, uh, I'm guessing that, you know, Google shopping, maybe the most practical way of getting indexed here is, I mean, I don't know, actually, I haven't really tried. I haven't gone down this rabbit hole. It's something that I should definitely look into. I'm guessing that Shopify can directly feed like an RSS into Google shopping to get you indexed there. Um, also I know that, you know, you can advertise with Google shopping, your shop products, your Etsy, you know, offsite products, etc. This was meant to be overstock, but Bed Bath & Beyond, I guess, bought the overstock domain and redirected it to their domain. So I'm not sure if we can list directly to the Bed Bath & Beyond uh, marketplace or not. Apologies for not having, you know, every detail about these opportunities, but overstock was one that made this list because you used to be able to sell there with ease. So I'm not 100% sure what happened after they transferred the domain. Next up, pickyourplum.com. All right, another kind of reminiscent of Jane and their vibe, uh, like a smaller version of Etsy that perhaps one day could scale. Okay. Pick your plum.com Shopify. Of course, everybody's familiar with that name makes it very easy to launch your own e-commerce website. I famously, I say that jokingly, uh, started a Shopify store in April of this year and made my first sale within seven days with no ads, which I had no clue was possible. All right. Um, it was in a trending niche. That being said, and I've done over a hundred sales to date, uh, all organic, but that really made me think about the power of Shopify. The fact that I got that first sale within a week of launching the, the shop shop teaks. 
I honestly had not heard about this website prior to researching for this video. Again, this looks like almost like a boutique feel, almost like you know, another little Etsy, you know what I mean? Where you can sell your print on demand products. Wayfair.com as well, another bigger marketplace, um, you know, publicly traded. So definitely bigger than places like Jane.com and Shoptiques. Um, Wayfair would be a great place to sell print on demand. Wish.com used to also have a direct integration with Printful. I don't know if they do or don't. In my mind, I was like, did the Wish and Bonanza integration go away at the same time? Or am I misremembering? Either way, Wish is a very large marketplace, both with their uh, desktop website and their mobile application. So with Wish though, people are always looking for deals. So you might have to like price down and accept the fact that you might make less money with regards to your margins. We have Verishop, uh, another one of these kind of boutique look and feel smaller marketplaces as well. Zulily, which I again have never sold here. Okay. I've never sold on Zulily, but it made the list during my research process. Whoops. Didn't mean to click that. Uh, selling on your own domain, your own website, not mentioned, you know, if you don't want to use Shopify, you want to use somebody else, you can grab a domain on GoDaddy and, you know, make your own website and sell your stuff or just use it as like a bridge to, you know, affiliate links to some other website. You've got popular websites like Redbubble, which functions similar to Amazon Merch, where they do all of the fulfillment, customer service, et cetera, and you just get paid out a royalty. They also own another website called T Public, which again, is that exact same model. You just upload your designs, publish it on products and get paid out a royalty when it sells. Very low friction, easy money. Uh, Spreadshirt, also a similar model to the one I just described as well. Zazzle, by the way, all these marketplaces like from Redbubble through here, you can automate uploads to using applications like Flying Upload. I'll drop a link to them in the description as well. Society6, Toastadora, Teespring, Displate, Shirty, Fine Art America, just to name a few places that you can automate uploads to. You can also use social media. You guys are all familiar with social media, but you know, you've got Facebook and Facebook shops. Um, you know, I said Facebook marketplace, but what about Facebook sh Facebook shop? That's also something that you can consider. Uh, there's Instagram, there's TikTok with TikTok shop, and they have a direct integration on both Printful and Printify. You've got Pinterest and you've got uh, Twitter in case you've, you know, I don't, you can't really sell directly through Twitter, I don't think, but you can run Twitter ads. And I've definitely seen some Twitter ads where they show the impressions now. I've seen Twitter ads with 5 million, 10 million impressions for t-shirts, which means, hey, no one's running that many ads or keeping their ad alive for that long if it's not profitable. So people are out here making a killing. Some people are. I always try messaging them. No one ever gets back to me. I always want to know. I'm like, yo, let me interview for my interview for my channel. I want to know about advertising print on demand on Twitter. If you guys have ever tried that or been successful, let me know. Again, the easiest way is just to email me, ryan at ryanhoog.com, but I would love that. Um, guys, oh, by the way, I did try to sell on Twitter or do, run ads. I started a second account and paid for Twitter Blue and they like never approved any of the ads. So it was weird. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope it provided some insights that maybe you hadn't considered. If it helped you out, please let the YouTube algorithm know by dropping a like. Please subscribe for more videos and I will see you tomorrow with a new video.